Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add and update your Excel data to SharePoint list using Power Automate, which will cover the date field as well. So as you can see, this is my source list and as of now it's blank and I'm having one Excel sheet with a couple of rows here and which include the date field as well. So what I want is when I run a flow, I should be able to copy all this data to my SharePoint list. So next time, if I make any changes to this uh, Excel or add any new item here that should get updated here as well. So let's just uh, run this flow which I've already created. I click on run flow. It's done. We'll check the status. Your flow ran successfully. All right. I'll go to my SharePoint list and I can see all the data here all the data which in my Excel sheet are here. So the next step is, now if I add new data here and make any changes to this one. and the date will be 2021 for me. And I'll make changes to my employee list as well. So let's suppose I say this employee double one, I go to this uh, third column, I make this as in SharePoint and make this one as an open item and uh, change some experience as well and change the date as well. So let's suppose I make this as in 2021, 2021. And now everything is there. So we'll go to our list. Check there is no update. Now I have to rerun this flow Run flow done. It's running. You can see it says uh, flow ran successfully. And if I go and check my this list, you can see there is one more item has been added. This one with uh, employee six as a username. So you can see that. Uh, employee six with the username has been added and we'll check whether the item has been updated. You can see the employee one one is there. You can see this open is there. You can see the new experience which I've added is there and you can see all these date column as well. So it is working perfectly fine for me and the date column is updating fine as well. Even if I go here and try to make changes to my date field, which is this one, I can do that and can save the changes into my SharePoint list as well. So the point is now how we can do that as well using Power Automate. So this flow I've already created and it is running on a manual mode. So let's uh, do one thing. I created a scheduled flow and uh, it should run, you know, every day. I would say six AM my time and uh, repeat every day. I want to repeat this every day. So it's up to you how you want to, you know, repeat this. You can repeat in a month, week, hours, minute. It's up to you. So even if you want to repeat this in a 30 minutes, you can mention this and uh, say every 30 minutes your flow will run. The flow name will be date means date column. Click on create. The next step is, so we have this Excel sheet present here into my this uh, document library with the name of Excel data. So first thing I have to do is Excel online for business, list row present in table. So one thing to mention uh, when you're creating entries to your Excel, make sure you are formatting that as a table. I've already formatted that as a table here. So you can do that as well and uh, name your table. 
so I've done that you can do that as well next step is I have to select the locations means so my site name there is a group or SharePoint site difference so you can choose that select a document library select the import from here and under that file which I have to choose is Excel data dot XLS and the table name will be table one for me which I have created so the table which I'm talking about here for management table you have to select that here so once this is done nothing I have to do here next step is a control and uh, apply to each I'll select a value of uh, this list item means this our list represent in table item I'll say action get items and in this one I'll select again my site and then uh, I have to select item from this source list get item from this source list so I'll choose uh, source list and uh, under that you have this filter query option so this could be a different experience for you so in case you want uh, to have this uh, drop down option in filter query you can go to your uh, power automate uh, setting and uh, from there you can enable this experimental feature is on so you can get this one as well so you don't have to write the query for that get items from uh, SharePoint and I have to compare that with the user ID is uh, equals to when I say the user ID is equal to control space will be user ID of list represent in table so means uh, the Excel user ID so what I'm doing exactly is so this get item will uh, get the item from this SharePoint list where uh, the user ID of uh, SharePoint list is equal to user ID of uh, my Excel sheet that means if the user ID of this Excel sheet is equal to user ID of uh, this in that case what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make a control statement based on that so it will get one item at a time and uh, top count I will keep one so get one item at a time because we are under apply to each any which way it will uh, count to one by one so the next step will be a conditions for me so the condition will be choose so I'm gonna write an expression here length length of what length of get items value is either equal to or not equal to whatever you want to keep I will say not equal to zero that means if there is one item returned I will update the item here so I'll say update SharePoint update item update where I'll update item into my again uh, dev my source list where I have to update the items and the unique identifier will be in my case will be ID of this get items from SharePoint list so it will automatically keep this into apply to each section and uh, now I can map each and every column the way I want to map so username will include username of my not get items username of my this list represent table and department value will be custom item so it is again my list represent department because it's a drop down value so when you have drop down values you don't have to select the drop down values you have to 
click on add a custom value and then you can select the value from your list row present status click ok you will have the custom value in the experience section I'm uh, having the experience list row present table experience okay the next step we have is a joining date which is our this joining date and how this joining dates work in Power Automate is it does take this as in string and give you a uh, numbers that could be any numbers and how that number is generated basically you can see this formula which I have just written here so let's suppose I have a joining date of uh, 1st December 2021 so it will count the number of days from this date to this date will give you that number so in case you're getting that number so don't worry about that after using this formula you can solve your problems so I'll copy this one I'll go to my flow here and you can see in my joining section I'll click on my this FX function one and here I'm having the expression so you can uh, add days uh, expression from here as well but I'm already having that so I'll say I'll paste the entire one here and in this date to convert I have to put the date here so how I can I get the date is from my Excel I will uh, say joining because my column name is joining list represent in table joining date and uh, I am okay so you can see that uh, in the joining date uh, column I have functions written there so it will convert my date automatically for me now and uh, user ID I can uh, say user ID to map that with my user ID so this is done for update item and uh, if the length is equal to zero in that case I have to create item as well so now I'll go here go to my SharePoint create item create item where to my dev site my source list and uh, I'm gonna create items here as well so I'll repeat the same process so I'm all good for this particular flow and uh, your flow is ready to go we recommend you to test it go to our list first of all we'll delete all the items from here and uh, now we'll uh, test our this flow manually our flow ran successfully I'll go to my source list and you can see all of the data is here so I'll now make some changes to this Excel so this is done from my end I'll go to my flow again here and uh, I'll read on this flow started and it's saying it's ran successfully now you can see and check user ID from 1 to 7 has been created and uh, all these data which I have made changes here 
I can see all the changes here. The 2010 is there and uh, that closed is there and uh, that employee changes is there into my employee section as well. All right, this one you can see. So that's the way you can actually add and update your Excel data to SharePoint list using Power Automate. So a lot of people has query about uh, date fill in my previous uh, video. So I've covered that into this particular one. So in case you're not able to copy more than uh, 100 or 200 items, so what you have to do is you have to go to your uh, this list row present Excel setting and uh, there you can enable your paginations and can set the threshold limits 5000 which is default limit and uh, you can set this and uh, you can save this one and also in case uh, I think the rest you don't have to worry about that because your get item is only getting one item at a times and uh, even if you want to do that you can do that here as well the paginations part that way you will be able to copy around 5000 item at a, in a one shot so in case you want to do more I'll talk about that in my next video. So for this video, that's all from my end. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Tech. Thank you so much for watching.